What's up, High and Logical? I'm back, I guess. I don't really know what to call it. I'm definitely not calling it a hiatus. I have not been wanting to post at all. And especially in these last, what, seven months since I've posted a video, and I'm pretty sure that was my school project, that I've had so much change throughout that time frame. And I've been meaning to come back. I've been meaning to record a video because it's been looking at me in the face every day. Almost at least not every day, but every week. There's always just some form of it that's coming to remind me about like, hey, you know, you still you still do this and you do like doing this, you know, so it's not something that you really need to be pushing off. But I just have not been wanting to do a video at all. Um, but I guess just to kind of continue on for what I am here for, I guess, is just to kind of give you a little update on things. But there's obviously a message that I have for this. Like there's a reason why I'm doing this in the first place. Uh, so... Since my last video was my multimodal design project, that has been about seven or eight months, I think, as I already said in the beginning of this video. I'm not at ISU anymore. I actually moved back home. I'm doing school here now. I had to make a really big change to a lot of things. I was not feeling that at all. I am not saying that School is a waste of money in a lot of ways. It can be a waste of fucking money. And please, if you decide to go to school, spend it wisely. Do it your way. Learn the way that you want to be taught. How you want to, how you want to learn things, what you want to actually be focusing your energy on. Because school is so everywhere that you are probably going to lose it half the time just because you don't know what you should actually be focusing on more. Of course, school, but there's you know other life aspects that you have to take into consideration going to school. So, but otherwise, besides that, I moved back. I am just doing school here in town, just a good old two years for generals, but it's in communications, so I guess it hasn't really changed too much from PR, but it's definitely not PR. It's just learning how to communicate better, sociology, stuff like that. Um, but otherwise, besides that, it's pretty much just been trying to recenter myself in a way. It's funny about of how like when I was pretty sure that I said this even in my last videos that I did is that the difference for how I was feeling then and the difference of how I'm feeling now is tremendous. And I think it's just because it feels like a weight has been lifted off my shoulders just because that I feel a lot more in control for how I want to do things and how I want to go about things. I've been trying to, you know, do new things. I've been trying to get outside more. I've been trying to just not delve into social media and just like setting myself in this pit like I've been trying to take a really big hiatus I'm not saying that I don't play like video games or anything like that but I have not been playing as much I've been trying to direct a lot of my energy into other different things and I've been picking up new hobbies I you know started playing music a lot more I guess I don't really remember if I've ever mentioned this period before but I used to play bass and I still play bass now but developing music has been a big hobby lately um just trying to explore more, n meet new people, just everything's just a little bit different now. And that's kind of the big thing that I kind of want to talk about is like how m picking up yourself up, picking up the pieces of yourself, like comes with comes with so many different things about and different avenues about how you want to do things, what you actually like want to achieve, how you want to actually have this or that and etc. There's just so many different things. You know, I've, I've had plenty of time for more self-reflection and uh, constructive criticism for myself. I've been doing my best to, you know, negate using bad habits or using bad habits as like a go-to for when I'm feeling anxious. I have dropped, I don't know, a lot of the healthy habits that I was doing beforehand, but otherwise besides that, I've been working out a lot more. That's been really nice. But just with the, going back to the analysis, is that I've just been, been, I don't know, I guess what the word is that, that I'm really trying to look for, but more of I have been trying to make sure that I live my life how I want to live my life. It's a weird cycle that I go through every year. And I even took a vacation, you know, with some family not too long ago. And I kind of ha had this uh, premonition of like the, the life cycle that I constantly hit around that same time of year, which is about July, August. And it's always about a shaking of my foundation of 
what am I doing? What are, am I actually spending the time and energy into the things that I really need to be directing it into? Am I doing my hobbies? Am I do, working too much? Am I people pleasing too much? Am I even appeasing myself? Like all those different things have pretty much just came to the surface time and time again. And I've been dealing with that same cycle for about six years. So when I finally am now at this point of tremendous growth, even from when I was just pumping out videos like left and right last year to where now I'm at a very different perspective to where, you know, like a lot of that spiritual enlightenment and is still here, but a lot of the real reality realism is still like trickling into where they're like, they're meshing very hard right now to where it's like, I'm still trying to, you know, like daydream chase you know, manifest, imagine, but at the same time, like try to ground myself more and be more aware about my surroundings in the physical time right now. And I mean, I could definitely can't say I haven't been hitting some roadblocks along the way. There have definitely been a lot of ups and downs. Like I couldn't tell you about how like my emotions have just dis- dis- shift so much from I'm happy. I'm like a little bit in the middle. I'm down, I'm up. It's like a consistent wave of emotions that I'm constantly riding all the time. And of course, what else is life but that? Is riding the ups and downs and just continuing on because there are is so much in life that we should be not taking for granted. We should definitely be pursuing more. We should definitely be doing for what feels right for our calling. Even there's multiple callings that multiple people have throughout time and time again. Some like me, for example, I have so many different hobbies. I have so many different things that I could like, Oh, I think about all these avenues, but then that's the reason why I like take these little breaks or I don't want to make a YouTube video is because I'm too much, too busy focusing all the things that are on my plate instead of just eating it one thing at a time, right. Or taking my time and then moving on to like dessert and so on and so forth. However you want to go about that metaphor. Now that I've hit that point, right, there has been, and I had that moment of kind of clarity when I was away with my family, is that I needed to start taking the time and the steps and the action to get to where I, yes, I want to go, but also taking step of just like all this extra stuff that I just don't need. Just like breathing and kind of just like letting it go, letting the ropes fall off, letting the chains fall off, just having to not explain to people about why I do the things that, that I do. I over explain already, but the thing is I don't deserve, not that, like I don't have to tell people why I don't wanna do things. I don't have to give them a reason. I don't have to give them an expectation about why. And so I've been trying to make sure that I sell myself some more healthier expectations. It's been a hard, but I can't say that it's definitely been impossible and it gets easier every time that I do it but I'm just trying to make sure that I can still focus on certain things and making sure that I take my time and not having to think that I need to throw all my stuff on my plate yet again, or picking up all my pieces and then having to reconstruct it all together. Like I have gone through that stage of where I've already deconstructed, reconstructed, deconstructed, reconstructed, deconstructed, reconstructed. Everybody has done that before, probably more, probably like more times than I have. But that's where I'm at is where I just, I'm like sitting here like, why do I need to reconstruct myself? What is this like little roadblock that's kind of like stopping me from like doing these things? And so I've had to take the time uh, to analyze about what those things are. And like half of them are usually just me and my mental battles. I don't really think that that's something new that I need to explain to people where mental battles are a thing. Like sometimes we're constantly fighting with ourselves. Like, should we do it? Should we not do it? I do want to do this, but I don't know if I want to do that. Right. And so I've taken those times to observe, taking the time to observe those thoughts so that I can figure out what it is. And half the time it's just because I'm too busy scared about what the fuck you fuckers are going to think. <laughs> excuse my language but that is the it is the truth like I'm too busy thinking about what other people are going to think about me what other people are going to say or do and if I'm like if somebody else have done, has done it or not already like it doesn't matter it doesn't and I know that I tell myself this time and time and time again but like I've kind of been inching at that point the entire time where I'm like I truly don't give a fuck because I like doing this right my life coach i've been taking life coach lessons it's been actually been helping a lot to set specific goals or at least if they're just like little tiny ones i can celebrate my tiny ones a little bit more anyway that she was telling me that it's like what's what's the harm in doing it nobody can tell you anything that you don't want to do and if people want to tell you 
what they think, then just let them think that. If it's good constructive criticism, take it. If it's not and it's just mouth breathing toxic bullshit, don't take it. And like, how many times have I've already talking about these things, but yet I'm not taking it for myself. Like I'm always wanting to give people the help, but yet I can't give myself the goddamn talk that I need to have, the the sit down that I need to do with myself and actually just put some of these things into action. Just do some of the things that I'd like to do because I don't know what it is, but yet doing videos like this is really fun. I do want to expand more. I do need to expand more with different things that we talk about or different things that I do that are, you know, like funny or, you know, anything like that. And it's like weird of how I'm getting like such like a weird deja vu of like how my first video was doing this where I'm like, we can talk about anything. And yes, we can talk about anything, but there also needs to be some kind of structure to it. I need to be more consistent. I need to be doing these other things. And I think what it really was too, that was a big stepping point for me was just realizing about how much work has been screwing with me. Like I have no free time, but yet I make the excuse that I have no time, but yet I actually have a lot of time. I just need to actually use it. You know, like I have a Zoom call with my life coach here in about an hour and a half, and yet here I am doing a video. That's a good utilization of my time, if you ask me. But then I'm realizing about like all these other different things that like work is just, I'm just directing too much energy into it. There was this, uh, I'm just going to call it a pyramid scheme. It pretty much was. I saw a lot more potential in it than just the possibility of money. So that's the only reason why I did it was because the information was very valuable. But of course, from what I've been taught in school and like on my free time is that they were gatekeeping like no tomorrow. And I'm sorry, but I'm not going to tell you guys to come do this thing for this amount of money when it all it is is about me getting the re the up and then it's up to you if you're actually going to use that time wisely which yes it is like on it's the same thing for me too using my time wisely to go find people to come buy this thing just so that they could learn some really good information for not a price that i would be charging people for that because one you can definitely go find this information online you, some people don't want to find the information some people don't want to do the research some people just don't want to do it but yet they're like oh this sounds interesting but i don't want to do any of the work <laughs> you know and i'm yet i'm speaking for myself here too to where i'm just like wow this sounds really interesting and yet i don't want to do the work but i analyze that though of where why don't i want to do it because that's not who i am it's not my morals it's it goes against my morals it goes completely like out of like the the park out of bounds because that's not how i am as a person that to the point where I'm just like, no, like I got to stop playing with myself. I got to stop playing with my food. I got to stop just, you know, like lollygagging and it's just with my thumb up my butt and just, you know, get stuff done. Now, realizing this, that mixing my, you know, like my therapy and like all these other things that I mixed into is that I need to, I know that I still need to take time for myself. I know that I still need to rest when it is required of me to rest, that I don't constantly need to be working all the time. And that I can still do all these things I want to do, but I just got to make sure I'm not constantly contradicting myself. And so like taking a step back and it's, and it's just been crazy about all these self-realizations lately of having to discover all these different things that I'm just ignoring in my head that I've learned that I've known the entire time and I'm just ignoring them. But now it, I'm not ignoring them. Now it's been to where I've been having these weird coincidences and I shouldn't say coincidences because me and my friends always say all the time that there are no fucking coincidences. Call it if you want, call it from Kung Fu Panda, whatever, that that is true though, that there are no coincidences, that some of these things happen at the worst, at the not worst, sometimes you're worse, but the weirdest, most inconvenient time for you. And so then you're, so you think to yourself, how do I, do, what do I do with this? Like, I couldn't tell you how many like universal signs that I was getting about doing a video all the time. Like this entire seven months that I've been away, like I've been getting so many signs of just me having to be like, dude, just do the video, dude, just do the video. And this isn't even the main video that I even wanted to do. But I think that this was a good way for me to kind of open myself back up again, to kind of feel comfortable with doing this, that no matter if this video gets five views, that I still feel better about getting a video done at the end of the day rather than what I'm getting in return. 
end. That's what's really important about chasing your dreams and your aspects because yeah, nobody's gonna support me right away. Yeah, I've been doing this for five years, but it's because I've been inconsistent. Why else am I not getting the results that I want? <laughs> Two, the other reason why is because that I've been holding myself back. Like with these universal signs, I've also been kind of getting a lot of the self-realization going back to that, of where it's just like, I'm not communicating how I want to communicate because I am always communicating how other people want me to communicate, appeasing how other people view things, not trying to step on the line or boundary without hurting people. That even no matter what, when you're consistently in the middle ground and either on the left or right, that you're not moving you're still getting there. You're still getting pounded with all this information and yet people still judge you because you sit here middle ground because you don't care about what people want to do with themselves. But at the same time is that you almost just don't care about a lot of other things but about what you're trying to do and then not breaking out of your comfort zone and getting stuck in the cycles over and over again because you keep sitting in the middle ground. The middle ground is nice for when it needs to be but then I'm realizing that I don't have to be left or right or up or down. Like I can be diagonal. I can be a spiral. I can be a squiggly line. I can be a goddamn rhombus if I fucking want to. That's the difference about how I can voice myself and just communicate about who I am. Like realizing that a lot of it just really has to be of communicate how you feel and just communicate it own that shit be confident with yourself and i can't tell you that i've never been more confident with myself than ever before like yes it goes away it slips away sometimes like sometimes it feel, my confidence feels like sand in my hands and it just falls through my fingers but then there are other times to where i'm just like okay well it never goes away though like i think it goes away it doesn't go away we choose when we want to be happy we choose when we would not want to be happy but if we have the decision that we can make the decision to be happy we can be joyous we can be excited about life like we can make the decisions to make the life that we want to picking up the pieces for ourselves is pretty much just having to realize about what pieces fit and what don't that we're constantly made of clay that we're constantly fragile we're constantly vulnerable into the multiple things of the actions of ourselves the actions of others and random natural causes there are so many things that define but yet we have total control about how we want to run our life and sometimes all we really need to do is just pick ourselves the fuck back up and just get back on the horse just get back up there's a th constant reminder from a song that i listened to um run it up by boz a lot of people have known that a lot of people know who he is now because of that song anyway that there's a lyric in there when he says like that mountain that you carry is always the mountain that you're supposed to climb and that thing like is constantly in my head all the time like sisyphus kind of goes along with that sisyphus is the i can't remember if he was like a god or a demigod but he was punished for having to push the boulder up and if it's a philosopher question why is he pushing the boulders because he likes the pain is it because of punishment is he doing it for a specific cause but like regardless of going up the mountain you have to do you have to climb your own mountain you have to scale all the different possibilities of yourself first before you move on to the next mountain and that's another part of it is that there are always more mountains that we have to climb that even though we reach the top there's that's the bottom of another mountain but yet people think that it's a bad thing because oh we're at the bottom again it's like no pay attention like you go up you hit the top and now it's a bottom again to where you, all you're doing is you're still elevated and yet we're going up still and no nobody wants to make those tremendous climbs all the time nobody wants to do that for their lives and i understand that life is too precious now for people to want to take risks to take the time to take the energy to not spend the money to sacrifice time and i've realized that yeah i have sacrificed way too much time i have given away too much free time to myself and to other things that didn't require my time but now it's about me realizing that i can take the time and i can still do it no matter what i don't like i don't know where this is gonna go but yet i know that i still want to keep doing it I know that I want to go explore other options, and yet I know that I need to find what I want to do first to set as a base. My basis, as of right now, feels like this, YouTube. Like, 
I don't expect to make money off this like tremendous amounts. Like I don't know what's gonna happen with this. Like YouTube, the social media, the internet has changed so much to when things used to be so much simpler now and they're not like that. I find joy in this because it makes me feel good. And when you find those little niches that you like doing just because they make you feel good, that it makes you feel like you're living life, then that's all I ever really wanna do. I don't wanna you know, spend more money at school to you know have to pay it all back again and then having to work the, for the rest of my life like i'm gonna work just because i need the money that we need money to survive yes there some people want to go live on plots of land and not have to worry about this and yada 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 and you know that's cool if people want to do that that's okay i mean shit that's been tempting to me more than once in this past year but i'm also at this person to where we can utilize this system at least in some way, to still make it better. And they're gonna make it harder for us, even now it's harder for us than ever, just for us to live life, that we have to work all the goddamn time. That we, like Even that the amount of money that we're still doing, that we're still barely getting by, and that's almost, I don't know what, three quarters of the world, 75% 75% to 90% of the world, what is it, the 1% that actually has like the sustainable funds to live life how they want? I don't even know how many people there that is for 1% compared to the rest of the 99, but I'm gonna tell you that's a small fucking fraction. And that's some bullshit. Some fucking bullshit. <laughs> but what are we gonna do? Like, we can't keep complaining about these things when if we wanna make change, we gotta make change. If I gotta be that voice of change to spark change, then I will make sure that I do that. But that also requires you to change, that requires me to change, that requires us to change what's going on around us and our body, our environment, and then our community, and then the entire world. Like you have to go through those structures. You can't just all of a sudden go from body to community. You can't go from body to government. Like you have to know those steps along the way. I feel you do anyway. If you skip past those and you succeed, good for you. But not everybody can do that. I definitely can't do that. I need to take these steps. So <laughs> that has been pretty much this 22 minutes of picking up myself, picking up what, what was left off, picking up these little pieces of my puzzle that I can just put together and then we will see how it goes. I don't really know where else to kind of lead off for that, but that's pretty much it. Live life how you want to, but make sure that you live it in a way that you know is a way that everybody can enjoy it, even for yourself, even for other people. Don't make it extra hard for you, but you're gonna have to do hard work. I'm gonna have to do hard work. Everybody's gonna have to do hard work. We want to achieve the things that we want to do. Um, you know, like not everybody can make the most significant impact. Not everybody can be just some celebrity that has all of these things. But yet, you know, if we have all these things and we have the means to do them, then we need to be able to build it for ourselves and then build so we can give it to other people. Because that's the only way I feel that we can actually expand more. There are probably many of other ways that we can expand as a human race, as a society. However, you know, world peace, anything like that, but that still obviously takes time. That's not something that's just gonna happen in a flash of an instant after I post this video, no. But it's just something that we need to take the time to do that we all need to make the change. We're still here at 2024, right? And that's there's a lot of sh shit that happened in the last seven months that I haven't been doing it let alone in these past four years. But if we wanna make these differences, then we gotta start making the changes. We gotta start putting those into action. And that, like, I guess the kind of a good way to end this is that I understand about how controversial it sounds sometimes when I talk about people living the life that they wanna do it, that they have to put action into it, you know? And I get it like I really do, is that how can I be in the middle ground with all these little different things that are going on from people that have so many different viewpoints to be able to kind of be like, yo, we can come together and not worry about it. It's not gonna be something that'll be horrendous or anything like that. But yet, being able to kind of like, I don't know, I kind of just lost my train of thought now that I was thinking about that. Let me reword this. I understand about how I sound controversial, about believing in all these different things, all these people coming together at once to be able to just succeed for everybody. And I know that sounds physically impossible because how can we have all these different people of 
uh, different viewpoints, perspective, religion, race, color, creed, sexual orientation. Like, how can we meld all that? You know, like, how can we do all that, that, Gabe? Sometimes I really wish I had the answer for you, but I feel that we won't find that answer until I pretty much keep going with this. And I feel like that's the only way that I can ever find that answer. If you don't want to get along with people with their own opinions, fine. If you don't get along with my opinions, I'm not going to cry about it. If I don't get along with your opinions, I'm not going to tell you that you're wrong. I'm going to ask why I may be wrong. I'm probably going to send you a, re- I'll probably like maybe tell you a little rebuttal because I think it is kind of stupid of me to not have to fight for my own viewpoints, especially when I have to appease to everybody. I don't need to appease to everybody. I appease to the people that I want to appease to, but I need to start appeasing to myself more and you other people need to start realizing that we just don't always need to agree to disagree. We don't always just need to agree, but we can still be friends at the end of it. Like, <laughs> it, like just don't hurt people because of what you believe in, man. Don't make situations worse, events worse, all these things that you can make worse is because that people don't believe in the same thing. And I know that I'm probably like preaching to the choir here when everybody's like, well, equality, we can do it sometimes. And I'm like, no, equality is a thing that we need to do all the time. It's not something that we can just like turn on and off with a flip of the switch just because we feel one way one day and another way another day. Like, I can't, like, it still bugs me seeing all these things that we make big deals about. But yet, People are entitled to their opinion. People are entitled entitled to live the life how they want to live it. But having to kind of like take rights or then give rights or give and, the give and take relationship is just not balanced. And I don't think it is. But we need to start balancing it for everybody. So, well, with that, I think that's pretty much it. I don't really know how this video is going to come out. And honestly, I don't really care. So I'll probably just edit it. And just post it. I don't really want to kind of throw any flashy stuff on this one. Not until the next one. So, it's been, I hope you guys have enjoyed that little rant, uh, catch up time. Um, I'm pretty glad that I did this. I'm pretty glad that I actually did this during the day. It's a beautiful day out today. I don't think I could have expected this to actually come out a lot better than it was because I was nervous the entire time doing this. Um, But tell me your thoughts, comment, like, subscribe, share. You know the drill, but please like, comment, subscribe, and share. How else can we expand? How else can we reach new people and new opinions if we don't share and like and subscribe and do all those things to make sure that everybody knows? So I hope you guys have a fantastic night, and I will see you guys soon.